as concerns for the spread of COVID-19 continue to mount, health officials are on high alert and ready to kick testing for the virus into high gear. We're starting to ramp up today. Uh, to the coronavirus testing. Dr. Dwayne Brenning is the Northwell Lab Executive Director. He says the previous manual testing performed by technicians involved handling each test one by one, which took longer and had inaccurate results. Through the emergency authorization submitted Tuesday night by the FDA, they were given the green light to begin semi-automated testing. However, the process is reserved for those who need it most. They may have sneezed on, you know, 30 healthcare personnel in our most important, you know, critical care unit. And even though, you know, we don't think that person has this novel coronavirus, if they did have that coronavirus, we would have to put something in place to try and limit the spread. So here's how it works. Similar to a flu test, the patient's nose and throat are swabbed and sent to the lab. The technician takes each individual specimen, adds it to what's called a buffer to make sure the sample is well mixed. It's then placed on a cartridge and into a machine for testing. About two and a half hours later, testing is completed. There are 23 hospitals in the Northwell Health System, 800 outpatient, thousands of physicians sending samples to the facility each day, and this new testing phase will expedite the process. And the work is far from over. Doctors say the goal is to become fully automated within the next two weeks or so. Instead of yielding hundreds of results in a day, the new process will allow for thousands within 24 hours. In Lake Success, Stacey Ann Gooden, PIX11 News.